Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford, we are making sock rabbits for Easter. You will need a pair of trainer socks in a colour of your choice, rice, a glue gun, two elastic bands, a cup, some googly eyes, a pink circle foam piece for a nose, a large white pom-pom, two smaller pom-poms and some scissors. Get your sock ready to use in just a moment, you only need the one for now, and then you're going to get a cup of rice, fill it about three quarters of the way, and then just put your sock over the end, well, the edge of the cup, and then you can tip it upside down and the rice will go into the sock, hopefully without any spillages. Gently ease the cup away from the sock, or the sock away from the cup, um, and just try not to spill any rice as you do this, and then just get an elastic band and secure the top of the sock. You can use longer socks rather than trainer socks, and at this point you'd have a long bit at the top, which you can then use as floppy ears. Um, but I'm doing this just so that you'll have a choice of sticky up ears or floppy ears. You should now have a long sausage of rice in your sock and secured into place with your elastic band. So now you can go ahead and squish the shape of your head and your body. So you can either have two even parts for the head and the body or you can have a smaller head and a bigger body. But just separate them and then use an elastic band to show where you've got your definition for the head and the body. Now with your other train sock, work out roughly the size of your head and you're going to cut across your sock about the depth of your head. So mine was about halfway. Just pop this over your rabbit's head and then tuck it into the second elastic band, the one which separates the head from the body. The whole idea of this is to hide the elastic band on the head part. If you are using a longer sock for this, then you do not need to do this part because you would have the, the top of the sock uh, coming out at the top of the head for you to cut ears into. Out of the remaining part of the second sock, where the sock folds over and you have an edge, you want to cut your rabbit's ears up here, so like a, an oval shape. You'll need two of these. Try and create a point at the one end so they're a bit more like an ear rather than just an oval. I did find this really tricky to cut uh, just because I'm going against the weave of the sock. Work out where you want to place these. So I'm going to go for long floppy ears rather than sticky up ears. Um, I think it looks a little bit cuter. And then when you've worked out where you want them to go, Attach them with the glue from the glue gun. Next, we're going to focus on giving him a face. So glue gun your two smaller white pom-poms where his mouth would be. Place the two pom-pom balls next to each other so it creates uh, the bit under the rabbit's nose. Finish this bit off by adding a pink circle or oval piece of foam to create his nose and just glue this onto the two white balls. Of course you need some eyes to see, so stick on two googly eyes. If you haven't got any googly eyes you can just draw them on with Sharpie. To hide the elastic band which separates the head from the body, just wrap a piece of ribbon around his neck and tie it into a little bow. Um, I use gold, but you could use something which is more spring light, you could use something flowery or pastel colours. They work really well, I just didn't have any, otherwise I would have done that. You don't need to glue it into place, it should stay there if you've tied it quite well. If you have done floppy ears, you might like to do a ribbon to go between the two ears as well. Um, if you've done sticky up ears, you might choose to put a ribbon on one ear 
or to leave it completely is completely up to you. Just give the rabbit some personality. Sorry, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, yes, you do need ribbon for this. Finally, just finish off with the large pom-pom on the back. You could use a large cotton ball as well, um, but pom-poms just work a bit better. They're a bit thicker and they don't pull apart. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this on a Monday and other art-related videos on a Thursday. See you next week for more Art with Miss Burford!